Well, Bill, my whole reaction and, and emphasis in this speech is on this idea of providing high-quality education to all counties and to every child in the state, regardless of the resources of his own county. Now, I really think I'm taking this from former Governor Darden, who I believe to have been responsible for the language to ensure high-quality education that was used by the Constitutional Revision Commission. Uh, I'm pointing out that this is uh, the attitude of the state people who have changed that language and reduced its insistence on high quality is the very type of thing that does not come, or we miss it at least, when we have the one-party structure that we have had in the past. In our administration, every child will have high-quality education, and that's the emphasis that I'm putting on education in this campaign. Paid for. We're going to have to make up our minds that it's important that every child have this education. And the state, it's important for the state to foot the bill. Now, are the Democrats seem to be running on the idea that the outgoing administration was an education administration. Do you think they're now perhaps changing their uh, policy on that? Well, I was very much surprised after the reputation that the incumbent governor had obtained for his emphasis on education that he was responsible almost personally for lowering the insistence of the Constitutional Commission from ensuring high quality to lesser language. And it may be that that will uh, detract somewhat from this administration as an education-oriented administration. Well, let's ask one question about the Constitution as it is likely to come out. Is there anything that will probably be in it that you think should not be in? Do you think we'll have a, a good revised Constitution when the legislators are finished? Bill, I think some of the, the, uh, the definitely will be some improvement. Uh, I think this 18-year-old vote thing should be at least submitted to people. You can't tell right now whether that's going to be submitted or not, and I'm disappointed about that. I was disappointed that they didn't let the governor, uh, that a provision be made for a governor to seek a second term. I think it would be important to have the emphasis and impetus of having to make a record that would re-elect you. That's very important, would help improve our leadership in the governors. I don't think of anything more at the moment that uh, I would have left out, except I'm disappointed about that language of the schools, the high-quality education language should have stayed as it was proposed by the commission. With the Vote 18 uh, thing attracting a lot of attention, you think perhaps Younger voters, uh, those age 21, will turn out in bigger numbers if they perhaps have a uh, chance of getting the voting age lowered? I really think they will. Uh, the youngsters have a lot of interest in it, and uh, they've been putting on a lot of activity, and our Virginia young people have done a great job of selling this point. Now, they've been handicapped somewhat by some of our out-of-state youngsters, particularly the group at Harvard this past week has made an awful mess of that situation. And this scares people away from the 18-year-old vote. But in Virginia, I think I'm confident that our young people at 18 are really highly qualified to vote, and I'd like to see them have the opportunity to do so.